Joining me now in an exclusive interview is Congressman from Georgia, Doug Collins, the ranking Republican on the House Judiciary Committee. Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Great to be with you, Maria. First, your reaction to the AG speaking out and uh, making no bones about it. There were questions then. He has more questions now. I believe when he's getting into it, Maria, what we're seeing is Attorney General Barr being an attorney general. He's actually looking at his department. He's looking at his, what has happened. He sees what's been going on over the past couple of years, and, and he wants to know what is uh, the predicate for it. How did we get here? Was there things that were done right? Were there things that were done wrong? This is an attorney general who seems to really take his job seriously, who's been very straightforward with the American people. He's been very straightforward with Congress and with the media. I think this is the thing that we have needed the most in this, is clarity from someone who says, let's find the answers, let's take the, all the spin off, and let's get to the bottom of it. And you and your colleagues have already done a ton of work on this. You've seen a lot of the redacted material and the classified information. Now we know John Durham is on the case. What will this U.S. attorney find out, you think, in terms of the most damning evidence? This is going to be the interesting part, and I think it really speaks well for the Attorney General, and also why the Democrats are so afraid of this Attorney General actually asking the real tough questions and putting uh, Mr. Durham in charge of this. The things that would concern me the most, the most damning things that I'd be looking at, is, is there was there information that was misleading leading to the FISA court? Was there actual lies? Was there abuses there that now are coming out? Was there other issues that have been now uh, misrepresented maybe before uh, Congress or before other agencies as we go forward? I think these are the questions that you have to ask. What I appreciate about the Attorney General not doing is jumping to conclusions. He said, we're going to investigate this. We're going to see what actually was out there because there's too many discrepancies in the stories. But if there are some out there who have been trying to now cover up their tracks, I think Bill Barr is going to get to the bottom of it. Well, the FBI has been saying for some time now that the investigation or the counterintelligence investigation uh, began in July of 2016. But we just had George Papadopoulos on just two weeks ago who told us informants were thrown at him as early as March of 2016. Are we learning more and more evidence that, in fact, the spying and the informants began way before the official uh, beginning of that investigation, which they're saying is July of 16? Well, I think that's what we're beginning to see, and I think that's the unraveling that is coming apart here, and you see many of the players who are now trying to actually come out and try and spin stories differently. We're seeing the story in totality, and you and I have talked about this before. It goes back to sort of that cabal that started under the, the mid-year investigation, the Clinton email investigation with Strzok and Page and B Baker, Comey, all of this coming together, and it's, so now we're getting a better picture of the intent and, and better picture of what they were actually planning. As this is actually investigated, and Mr. Durham continues this, this is where I believe we will see the uh, either the confirmation of what many of us have thought, that there was this uh, determination that they didn't like the president, uh, now President Trump, candidate Trump at the time, and they were doing everything in their possibility to keep that from happening. And some people are still doing that. I mean, you've got uh, Jim Comey out and about doing town halls, doing interviews. And tweeting. <laughs> this last tweet uh, he sent out last night. Look at this. The AG should stop sliming his own department. If there are bad facts, show us or search for them professionally and then tell us what you found. An AG must act like the leader of the Department of Justice, an organization based on truth. Donald Trump has enough spokespeople. Wow, considering this was the former FBI director who met with the then uh, Attorney General Loretta Lynch on a tarmac two, week, two days rather before he was supposed to interview the subject, Hillary Clinton. Yeah. I'm beginning to believe he protests just a little bit too much. I think the issue here is as someone who for years when he was not being scrutinized was looked at as this Captain America figure, I'm stepping forward for the good of the country. And now we're beginning to see that Jim Comey is really a much more political animal than he's let on to be. He's actually been one at the center of this whole thing for the last two and a half years. And now he's going out and actually talking about uh, Attorney General Barr and slime. Maybe he's, uh, I'm not sure where he's coming from on that part because the former FBI director has put enough slime out there himself about how he has acted and how he has went forward on many things when we look at his performance, especially coming out of the Clinton investigation, into the issues with the FISA, into the issues of the Russia investigation. Like I said, Maria, I think we're finding someone who's protesting a little bit too much because he now knows somebody actually may look at what he actually did do. Right, and that's exactly what the AG is doing. Let me ask you about Robert Mueller because your committee has wanted to speak with him, to have him come down and testify in front of judiciary. Is somebody slow walking this? What's going on? 
Seems to be. At this point, the, the uh, Attorney General actually talked the other day and said he's got no problem with Mueller coming. I've asked for Mueller to come, and I know others have as well, because we have serious questions about you know the Mueller report as well, not just the fact that there was no collusion, no obstruction, and, and no charge of obstruction, but actually what did he look at? When did he actually come to the conclusion that there was no obstruction? When did he actually decide that there were issues that we didn't look into the dossier more? These are the kind of questions we want to see. But it is interesting that the chairman of my committee, Chairman Nadler, has talked about getting Mueller there and then he talks to him some more and, and we're still not having here. So I think the interesting thing here, uh, Maria, is Democrats are becoming more and more concerned about what they're finding out. They did not get out of the Mueller report what they wanted. They don't like an attorney general who's actually doing his job. And now they're beginning to worry that if Mueller comes in and just confirms what they have, they're in a tough political position. And I think that is the problem that they're facing now is what do they do with what they promised when they went out over their skis and said, all of this is going to be proven and Donald Trump is guilty. Now they're having to deal with reality. And that's one reason that you've been releasing a lot of transcripts of these closed-door testimonies so that the American people can understand exactly what was said during these testimonies. Are you going to be releasing more testimonies? We will be. We're, we're making that final case right now. We're getting it all together, but we will be soon, Maria. Uh, are you going to be releasing Andrew McCabe's testimony? He'll be part of the, the group that is released, yes. So I wonder, because I know you, you, you spoke to Andrew McCabe early on. I'm wondering if you believe that Attorney General uh, Bill Barr should have uh, Andy McCabe come down and speak to him. Well, I think that'll be what the, the process that the Attorney General is actually looking into as we go forward. So I'm sure he'll be caught up with the, the questions of just how this got started. Bill Barr's made it very clear. I want to see how this started. I want to know how this progressed. And I want to know how it actually is, is coming to play. Because what he is, undoubtedly he has seen, and there's nothing to doubt Bill Barr's honesty. There's nothing to doubt his truthfulness. He's been truthful in everything that he has said so far to everyone. So I think he is really taking this in a very panoramic view. He's looking at it from all sides. And he said, I want my folks to look at this and determine, is that, was there something wrong? If there was something wrong, will there be, they will be held accountable and that it won't happen again. This episode in our history is something we need to make sure that FBI and Department of Justice is operating as it should and that American citizens do not have to worry about a FISA process and a FISA court being abused. Yeah, well, there was, there was misleading information, which people want to understand why the FISA court was not told that Hillary Clinton and the Democrats actually paid for that uh, steel dossier. I, I want to ask you about what you're doing in this upcoming week, because, Congressman, I know that your committee is going to be voting on three bills when it comes to immigration.